You might not realize it, but every day, you probably come into contact with nanoparticles, these super tiny pieces of material that are in many of the things that we touch, wear, and even eat. I'm Carolyn Wilkie, a graduate researcher at Northwestern University, and I study these nanoparticles as new contaminants in the environment. What makes nanoparticles so special is their small size. They're around 100 times smaller than the size of one of our red blood cells. Nanoparticles live in this in-between land, between atoms and regular-sized objects. And at this small size, they gain many new and exciting properties that can make them look and act completely different than the same material at regular sizes. This makes them useful in many different applications. For instance, they can be used to deliver drugs to hard-to-reach parts of the human body, and they can also be used to make our electronics work even faster. However, nanoparticles also show up in many places where we don't really need them, like clothing, personal care products, and even food. As more and more nanoparticles are used, more of them will eventually get into the environment. Because of this, scientists like me are concerned about the effects that they may have there, particularly because at this small size, their new properties may make them more toxic to environmental bacteria. While we usually think of bacteria as causing disease, they're actually crucial to keeping our planet running. In our bodies, bacteria help make vitamins, and in our ecosystems, they do many tasks that we take for granted. In the environment, nanoparticles may kill some of these important bacteria. One type of nanoparticle that I study is titanium dioxide. It's a very common material, and titanium dioxide nanoparticles are used in many different products. They are often the active ingredient in sunblock that saves your skin from the sun's UV rays. So if you go to the beach and you put on some sunblock and jump in the water, some of the sunblock will wash off and the nanoparticles with it. In the water, when the sunlight hits the titanium dioxide nanoparticles, they can produce chemical species that can harm bacterial cells. This is one way that nanoparticles can get to the environment and harm microorganisms there. I hope that my work will help us understand the unintended consequences of releasing nanoparticles to the environment, and that this information can help us make better choices about how we use nanoparticles.